Hi guys, welcome back to another video. As you know, with our electric XP in the manual, it says that you have to have certain or all the bolts torque to a certain specification. And that's something that I was always nervous about because I never had a torque wrench. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm still not an expert in this, but I'm trying to learn. And I thought I'd film this video just detailing my experience of the learning process. Now, I went to Harbor Freight and the first thing I got was picked up this set here. This is a 3 8 socket set that comes with these Allen uh, uh, heads on it already. And this was five bucks. And these, this covers pretty much every single uh, bolt on there. So you can't beat it for five bucks. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10 millimeter. This is usually $20. This is the 3 8 drive Pittsburgh torque wrench. And it was on sale for 10 bucks, 9.99. So I thought, you know what? I might as well give this a try. See if I could, you know, tighten all these two factory specifications. So here you got your, the wrench here. Now one side you got the foot pounds, and on the other side, it looks like it says NM, and you would think that it's Newton meters, but it's actually not. So it's something else, it's not the real Newton meters. So don't go by this scale here, go by the foot pounds, and then in your manual it's actually in Newton meters. So I googled the conversion, and you just times whatever it is, says here by point. 73756 to equal the foot pounds. So I put a couple of these in right now. I didn't do all of them. So as you could see, I already did the formulas. And we're going to do this right now. So the first thing you want to do is you want to loosen this right here. And then you have your chart right there. And it's hard to see it, so I drew it. So how it looks. So basically this is how it looks. So if you want to set it to five pounds, you would roll this up right until that line where the zero, zero, one, two, three is on the spindle here. So you would roll it up until the zero is parallel with this line here. That would be five. Now if you want to make it seven, then anything past that line one, two would be seven. So if I have it at five, zero right now, if I put it one, that's six pounds. That would be seven pounds. That would be eight, nine. And then once you hit back zero again, that's already going to go to the next one, which is 10 pounds. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Let's try something easy. You got the rear rack mounting bolt 7 newton meters which is 5.16 so i'm going to set this to just an even 5 which is right there then i'm going to lock this nut here and i'm going to put in my let's see what size this is I'm going to take a regular socket wrench here and just uh, loosen it up just a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to put this piece on the torque wrench and it should give a click when it's tightened. Not a ratchet, but a click. This was a ratchet. So let's let's see. Let's keep tightening. Let's see if it clicks. That's the click right there. So now you know you have it to the correct specification. Now these do come. I mean, they're not perfect. They do have an error rate of about four percent, plus or minus. And you're supposed to have this calibrated every six months. And I believe I'm going to do a video on how to calibrate it. It's not that not that hard. From what I've learned so I'll do a video on that so that's uh, that's done right there let's see what else the kickstand uh, kickstand here it says 
10 newton meters, which is 7.38. So I'm just going to set it to 7. So once again, I'm going to loosen this. So it's at 5 right now. I'm going to swing it to 6. And you see it's got half increments as well. 7. Let's just do 7. Let's just to be safe. a little bigger so that one looks like a five millimeter so once again I'm gonna take my regular wrench loosen it up a little bit okay there we go loosened it up and now let's tighten it There's that click. You guys heard it? I'll do it again here. There it is. That's about it. So that tells me that it's torqued to the correct specification. Well, I'm gonna probably do the rest of this bike and see how it goes. I suggest if you guys get this wrench, just, uh, you know, do it at your own risk because if it's not calibrated properly from the beginning, I guess, you might cause some issues from over torquing. So maybe set it just a little bit less than what it's supposed to. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys a, you know, diary here of what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I'm by no means an expert, but I just wanted to share it with you guys. And I'll have the links uh, to the coupon as well. It's $19.99 on the website. And they actually don't have the 3 8 model on the website, but they do carry it in the local store. So if you go to the local store, that's the one to get the 3 8 one. And this is the metric size, Pittsburgh, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, five bucks. Can't beat this deal. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions, please ask. I'm going to have more videos coming up. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.